This brief tutorial will walk you through the steps of downloading a YouTube video in Blackboard. Believe it or not, it's pretty easy. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your computer at home or your laptop has QuickTime Player. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're not trying to do this on campus because you know right now Lawson State does block YouTube. So as long as you do this at home or any place that has access or is not blocking YouTube, you'll be just fine. So step one is to make sure you download QuickTime Player on your laptop. Most laptops already have this, but again, if you do not have it, just Google QuickTime Free Download and a, a site like this site will pop up and just follow the steps for downloading. The next thing you need to do is to download this particular downloader which is called best video downloader it's just one of the ones that I particularly like especially for YouTube it has a really great interface with YouTube so I would strongly recommend it and in fact this presentation is, is only going to focus on this particular download operation so to get to this particular one type in www best video downloader dot com and then just follow the prompts to downloading it on your Mac or your PC and you should be fine after you've downloaded it what what's really great about it is that when you go to YouTube as you can see here here's my video and I'm on YouTube so you can kinda of see where I'm at you'll notice and this is what I love about this particular downloader once you download your video you will see that it's now a part of every YouTube video that you have so it's just really easy it stays there and I'm gonna hit this little arrow down arrow and you can see that you have different ways that you can download it or different preferences um, for the purposes of Blackboard, I strongly recommend or I recommend that you use MP4 360 right here. Okay? So after you've found, let's take a look at this particular video just briefly. So let's say that this is the video that you want. She's a tech savvy educator who's been teaching online and she's mm -hmm. learning a thing or two herself. Okay, so let's say this is the video that you would like to download within your class and there's an assignment attached to it. So the next step is to simply click on MP4 360 and just go ahead and save that document. And I've already have it, so I'm just going to replace it. You can watch the download process. And then it's downloaded. Make sure, I'm going to do that again because I want to show you something real quick. Make sure when you do download that you know where you've downloaded it. Let's go ahead and save again. And I actually have a particular file called Downloads. You can create your own file. Okay. Just make sure you have a place where it's going. So you don't have all of these, you know, videos on your desktop, for instance. Okay. Once you've done that, and that's a very important step, your computer now has it. Okay. And so what you're basically doing is going to transfer that that particular video you're going to upload it to Blackboard. So the next thing you need to do of course after you've downloaded it is that now go to Blackboard and go under build content just like you would normally do and believe it or not you're not going to go here under video no I want you to log on to item so click on item just like you would a, a particular announcement and so we're going to just call this online education video. And let's say there's a message to your students. It's always good to give some kind of directions. Now it's time for you to actually put plug in the video. Now one of the reasons why I wanted you to use QuickTime Player is because if you notice right here, see the little blue cue? Add QuickTime Content. And it's, it's just a great interface with Blackboard. There's no, you know, Blackboard is not going to have difficulty recognizing it. It will identify it immediately. So we're going to go ahead and click the little QuickTime Player icon. And we're going to simply add this content. We're going to ask the computer to browse my computer. Right? Here it is. It's in my downloads. If for some reason something else pops up, just fine. Where you, that's why I said know where you where you stored it, right? So I'm going to go ahead to downloads. You click on the video, 
YouTube MP4 and hit open and just go ahead and submit it and just wait a few minutes for it to load because it is a video depending on um, your web browser how long it's going to take or your um, wireless connection so we're just going to give it a few minutes for it to um, load here just be patient whatever you do don't keep on submitting it just watch the green bars right here and just be patient while while it loads up Okay. so while one of the things that you need to be aware of once it's loaded you'll be able to change the size of the um, of the video and then it's always important to test the video the other thing that I'm going to say is this and I'm sure you're already aware of this aware of this as a faculty member whenever you load anything from blackboard always make sure you watch the entire video from beginning until the end you don't want any you know unwanted surprises in your class okay so we're going to go ahead and submit we can see that it was successfully loaded and you can see that it's really small so what we can do is stretch it some let's kind of move it out by pulling this out and I can bring it down just pull it down there you go and I'm gonna go ahead and submit and as you know you can track viewers you already know this kind of thing and hit submit I always like to submit it first and then if I need to go back in and actually look at the size of it I can but that looks pretty good that's a really good size for students to see it and I'm gonna go ahead and play to make sure it's okay Voila, we've been successful. Hopefully this short tutorial has walked you through the steps. Remember, make sure you have QuickTime Player. Make sure you download the recommended downloader that I've um, recommended. Then, once you pull up your YouTube video, be sure to download it as an MP4. Remember that, under 360. Then, as simple as that, you just simply come in Blackboard and go under Item. Let's go back through these steps really quick. Remember, we went to Item. We named our item. We provided directions for the student. We, we clicked on QuickTime Player. We browsed the computer, because remember we had already downloaded. We found our particular video. We clicked Open. And we submitted. And then we waited patiently for our video to download. If you have any questions about these steps or encounter problems, feel free to contact me at sdavis at lawsonstate.edu. This has been a, a, what we call a brief tutorial from the Center for Teaching Excellence and Learning. Hope that it's been helpful.